morning. But with our hearts full of thanksgiving, we thank you for who you are. You are so mighty, you are holy, you are righteous. There is no one like you. This morning, Lord, we humble before you. We are so desperate for you, Lord. We ask, O oh Lord, that you may prepare our hearts for the imminent coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, that you may um, shine upon our hearts so that we may see the dark spots, submit our hearts to you so that you may deliver us from every manner of evil. This morning, Lord, I just want to welcome your Holy Spirit, him who is the best teacher, the who, him who has all the truth that he may teach us your ways precious holy spirit i want to ask if you can use nothing i am that useless vessel despised of men but i ask you holy spirit that you may take over that you may rule and reign over my life that you may minister to your people I ask that you be saturated this place with the presence of Jesus, even the precious blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus to saturate every heart and the rest every heart for Jesus. Father, receive all the glory and honor in the mighty name of Jesus we have prayed. Hallelujah. Let us clap to Jesus. Hallelujah. Today is going to be very brief because today is strictly a thanksgiving and celebratory service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I just want to highlight something. In the book of Revelation chapter 3. Revelation chapter 3. I just want to bring a comparison between the church in Philadelphia and the church in Laodicea. Nataka tu kulinganisha kanisa la la Laodicea na Philadelphia. Na Philadelphia. So uh, uh, chapter 3 of Revelations and then from verse 9 Ufunuo wa Yohana sura ya 3 mstari wa 9. Verse 9 he's talking about the church in Philadelphia. Mm. And he says, Indeed, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews and are not, but lie. Indeed, I will make them come and worship before your feet and to know that I have loved you because you have kept my commandment to persevere. I will also keep you from the hour of trial which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. Behold, I'm coming quickly. Hold fast what you have that no one may take your crown. Na, na nitawafanya wale wa sinagogi la shetani wale ambao husema kuwa ni wa yaudi lakini sio bali ni waongo. Nitawafanya wache wapige magoti miguni pako na wakiri ya kwamba nimekupenda kwa kuwa umeshika amri yangu na kufumilia katika saburi nitakulinda katika saa ya kujaribiwa inayokuja ulimwenguni pote ili kuwajaribu wote wakao duniani na kucha upesi shika sana ulicho nacho ili mtu asiche akaichukua taji yako Verse 14. And to the angel of the church of the Laodicea. Just right. Na kwa kanisa, na kwa malaika wa kanisa lililoko Laodikia andika. Verse 15. Mstari wa 15. I know your works. You are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth because you say I am rich you have become wealthy and have need of nothing and do not know that you are wretched miserable poor blind and naked Na yajua matendo yako ya kwamba wewe si baridi wala si moto Havadhali unge ungelikuwa moja au lingine Hivyo kwa kuwa huu vuguvugu si baridi wala moto Nitakutapika utoke kinywani mwangu kwa maana unasema mimi nitajiri nimejilimbikisia mali wala sihitaji kitu chochote lakini utambui ya kwamba wewe ni mnyonge wa kuhurumiwa maskini kipofu tena ulioochi 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we have two churches. And the Lord has been talking about the two churches. Somewhere again in the book of Revelations, the, the Holy Spirit is saying, let those who are holy continue being holy. Those who are weakened continue being more weekend mali kwingine kwenye kitabu cha kitabu cha ufunuo roho mtakatifu anasema wale walio watakatifu wasidi kwa watakatifu na wale walio waofu waendelee na uovu so in the church of christ the lord is bringing a demarcation kwa hivyo katika kanisa la kristo bwana anaweka alama there is the church the lord is modeling kuna for kanisa, rapture kuna kanisa ambalo bwana analiandaa kwa ajili ya unyakuzi and that is the church that has separated herself na hilo ndilo kanisa ambalo limejitenga haleluya church haleluya kanisa let us clap to jesus tumpigie yesu makofi i want us to be alive eh? nataka tuwe hai because jesus is coming kwa sababu yesu anakuja and we need to be ready na lazima tuwe tayari haleluya haleluya we have to be the church lazima the tuwe wise kanisa. church kanisa lenye hekima that keeps all her lamp burning ambayo inaweka taa yake iwapo all the time ikiwa na mafuta kila wakati haleluya church haleluya The wise church kanisa lenye hekima knows linajua that the enemy likes attacking the mind anapenda kufamia so mawazo keep themselves alert kwa hivyo wanachiweka makinifu did somebody hear that they keep lai. themselves alert wanakaa makinifu have you ever seen somebody looking at you but they are actually not looking at you je umewahi muona mtu anakuangalia lakini hakuona they are hakuwa. staring at you wanakutazama tu You look at them and you unaona you think they are looking at you they are minds are very far away lakini fahamu zao ziko mbali those are the kind of people jesus is talking about in the book of isaiah chapter 29 verse 13 hao ni aina ya watu ambao yesu ananena juu yao kwenye kitabu cha isaiah chapter 29 they, they, they are looking at jesus ya kwamba wanakaka na kwamba wanamuona yesu actually their minds are very far away from lakini mawazo yao iko mbali sana na yeye they say they love jesus with their mouth wanasema wanampenda yesu kwa midomo yao with their actions lakini kwa matendo yao their hearts are very far away from him mioyo yao iko mbali sana na yeye but this other church lakini kanisa hili ni she mbini. has realized that amegundua ya kwamba the lord hates the world and everything that is in the world bwana anachukia ulimwengu na vyote vilivyo mu mungu ni yohana wa kwanza sura ya 2:15 is always so active in their lives kila wakati li even when they are going yao. shop hata wanaenda katika things wanaangalia vitu in the shop katika duka and they gauge their heart na wanaangalia mioyo they are asking in their heart wanauliza katika mioyo yao is my heart attracted to the things of this world hallelujah je moyo wangu umevutiwa kwa vitu vya ulimwengu huu hallelujah you know there is a shop utaingia unajua kuna duka utaingia actually for me I will never go to buy a dress in any shop. Aswa kwangu mimi siyesienda kwa duka yote nikanunua vazi. Are we talking? Je, tunaongea? If as a woman you go to a shop and you feel wow this dress. Ikiwa kama mwanamke unaenda kwa duka na unaangalia wow. I wish I could buy this dress. Natamani ningenunua nguo hii. Pale tumefikia. Hallelujah. Haleluya unaonekana ya kwamba bado dunia iko ndani yako kwa sababu pale tumefikia Bwana ametutenga kiwango cha vile hauwezi kwenda kununua nguo yako kwa duka Hakuna fundi yeyote kwa hizo maduka ataweza kushona nguo ambaye utavaa ikuwe ikuonyeshe ya kwamba unaogopa Mungu Tuko pamoja wamejaribu kutengeneza nguo za miundo ya toba but hawezi kwa sababu gani watachukua zile material ambazo hata kama nguo inakaa ni refu lakini inachora mwili jinsi ulivyo are we together je tuko pamoja haleluya haleluya lakini sasa tumefika kweli wale wameitiwa kwa jina la Bwana they have been so separated wametengwa sana from the things of the world kutoka kwa vitu vya ulimwengu bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe hata nikienda kwa hoteli nikute wametengeneza kitu inaitwa bacon my 
my appetite will just disappear ile itaji yangu ya kukula haitakuwa Are we talking church? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The church that is separated from the things of this world. Kanisa lililotengwa na vitu vya ulimwengu. It's in patterns. Wakuna mtu wa different. Ni tofauti. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hebu wakikui tuinue mikono kama wewe ni mkikuyu inua na ukue tu. You be proud to be a mkikuyu. Hebu inue ni mguoko. Hebu inue ni mikono. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Kuna wakati ulikuwa unaona mutura. Unaanza ku he unasema wa. Ningependa kuka hapa ni furahie mutura. Kwa wale ambao mjui mutura ni sausage ya wakikuyu eh imetengenezwa na nini? Imetengenezwa na damu. But tunajua bibiri na tuambia ya kwamba maisha iko ndani ya damu. Kwa hivyo hawezi kushiriki kwa mutura. Siku pamoja. So ndugu zako wakati wa Christmas wametengeneza mutura anawaambia please wanasema yule msimweke kwa hesabu hii nitakula shaya yake. You hear those kind of stories eh? Hallelujah. So what am I saying? I'm saying there are two churches now. There is a church ambayo imeji separate. Kuna kanisa ambalo limejitenga. Inajua ya kwamba the Lord hits these things. Inajua kwamba Bwana anachukia vitu hivi. Bwana anachukia hii. I cannot go there. Siwezi kwenda mahali pale. I cannot um but, mm-hmm. Now I'm missing the word. <laughs> I cannot indulge there. Siwezi kujihusisha pale. Because I know these things they are detestable before the Lord. Kwa sababu najua vitu hivi ni chukizo mbele za Bwana. Hallelujah church. So there are those things you know. Kwa Kama hivyo, ni watu wa western tunajua ikifikia tu mambo ya traditions. Ikifikia mambo ya kimila. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So wakati wanakuita ukumbusho you know what is in Rome. So you will not go there. Kwa hivyo hautaenda That one forget about. Watasema huyo msahau. Au alifungwa na hiyo kanisa yao. Hawezi hata kukuja hata mmsi waste your time. Hata msipoteze muda wenu. So the Lord is saying. Kwa hivyo Bwana anasema because you have taken time. Kwa sababu umejikua muda. To separate yourself. Kujitenga. To persevere. Kufumilia. Because there is a lot of perseverance. Kwa sababu kuna kufumilia kwingi. Are we together? Je, tuko pamoja? In the office I find people are talking. When I get office, there they keep quiet. Office inapata watu wanaongea. Nikifika pale wananyamaza. When I leave there they start laughing. Nikiondoka wanaanza kucheka. You understand? Unaelewa? They know that you are not in their league. Wanajua kwamba hauko katika viwango vyao. There are things they will share. Kuna vitu watashiriki. And they will not involve you. Na hawatakuhusisha. Because they know you are not part of them. Kwa sababu wanajua wewe si sehemu yao. There are some jokes they will share. Kuna misaha watafanya. But they will not share those jokes when you Lakin are there. Lakini hawatashiriki misaha ukiwa mali pale. Are we together? Je, tuko pamoja? There are some There are some celebrations they have kuna sherehe wanakuwa nazo wenyewe kwa wenyewe wamesema leo tuna mbuzi wenyewe kwa wenyewe wanasema leo tuna mbuzi lakini they will never involve me lakini hawata hawatanishirikisha kwa sababu hata sitaenda you understand je mnaelewa so you are segregated umetengwa there is a lot of rejection kuna kukataliwa kwingi haleluya haleluya they will Our sessions is uh, maybe today we are going to such a place and this is the dressing code. Watakona awamu ya kwamba tunaenda mali fulani na hivi ndivyo tutakavyofaa. But I will go in my dressing code. Lakini nitaenda kwa mtindo wangu wa kuvaa. So they will say ah that one forget about her. Kwa hivyo watasema huyo msahau yeye. Huyo tu achana naye na hiyo mkurino yake. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I'm happy to be a mkurino for the Lord. Lakini nafurahi kuwa mkurino kwa ajili ya Bwana. They persevere kufumilia. They don't care what anybody says about them. Hawajali kile ambacho yeyote anaweza sema yeye. They care about is pleasing the Lord. Kile wanajojali ni kumfurahisha Bwana. the Lord. Kumheshimu Bwana. Are we together church? Je, tuko pamoja so, kanisa? That time is You are the Philadelphia church. Kwa hivyo wewe ndiyo kanisa la Philadelphia. I'm going to talk about the qualities of the Philadelphia church. Nitaenda kunena juu ya sifa za kanisa la Philadelphia. And I also talk about the qualities of a 
Laodicea church. Na pia nitanena juu ya sifa za kanisa la Laodicea. So this Philadelphia church. Hili kanisa la Philadelphia. Is the church the Lord is preparing for rapture. Ni kanisa ambalo Bwana analianda. And the Lord is leo. very careful. Na Bwana ni wa makinifu sana. He saw the challenges of this age. Aliangalia changamoto za hayo. And he said hai. no. Na akasema pana. I will do everything it takes. Nitafanya vyote vyote yeye sikana. To make sure kuhakikisha. They bear my image and likeness. Ya kwamba watakuwa na sura yako na Bwana. So I am going to send them my mightiest prophet. Kwa hivyo nitatuma mnabii wangu mkuu. The ones are preserved for the last age. Ambao nimewahifadhi kwa ajili ya nyakati za mwisho. Are we together church? The kanisa. Lord in his effort to make sure you enter. Bwana kwa juhudi zake kwa that is why nobody has an excuse not to enter. Na ndio maana hakuna mtu aliye na sababu ya kutoingia. The church that fears the Lord. Kanisa linalomogopa Bwana. Irrespective of whether there are people around you. Bila kujalisha kuna watu walio kusingira. Can we talk church? Je, tunaweza kuongea kanisa? Irrespective of whether it is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Haijalishi kiwa ni Jumatatu. You are going to church. Unaenda kanisa. Your wardrobe remains the same. Ile sanduku lako la nguo linapaki sawia. Because they understand. Kwa sababu wanaelewa. Ama the wisdom the Holy Spirit has given them is this. Ama hekima ambayo Roho Mtakatifu amewapatia. That the God who created the eyes. Ya kwamba Mungu aliyeumba macho. We will see you in every secret. Atakuangalia katika kila kitu. David is asking. Where shall I hide from your presence, O Lord? Nitachificha waki wapi bwana kutoka kwa uwepo wako if i go to the heavens nikienda pale mbingu that is your throne hapo ndipo palipo on the earth hapa duniani that is your footstool hapo ni mahali pa mbingu yako oceans, katika bahari you created the oceans uliziumba bahari even the hell that we fear hata jehanamu tunayoogopa mungu hell. mwenyewe aliumba so jehanamu so you can never hide from god kwa hivyo hauwezi kujificha kutoka kwa mungu he knows your formation anajua umbo lako he knows you are thinking in Two years to come. Anajua fikra zako kwa miaka miwili zijazo. Actually he predestined you. Hakika alikutenga before the creation of age kabla uumbaji wa nyakati. Hallelujah church. Hallelujah kanisa. He knows my name. Anajua jina langu. He formed my heart. Aliumba moyo wangu. So he understands your heart. Kwa hivyo anaelewa moyo wako. And the Lord knows the heart that obeys him. Na Bwana anajua moyo ambao unamtii yeye. Tell, speak to yourself. Tell yourself the Lord knows you my heart. Jiongeleshe umwambie moyo wako Bwana anakujua e moyo wangu. That you can never lie to the Lord. Ya kwamba hauwezi ukamdanganya Bwana. And you know the heart is what the Lord is coming to rapture. Na ujue kwamba moyo ni kile ambacho Bwana anakuja so kulinyakuwa. We must make sure that we keep our heart. Kwa hivyo lazima tuhakikishe kwamba tumeivadhi mioyo yetu. Every time you see the devil bringing you afflictions. Kila wakati unapoona adui anakuletea matezo. It is because he wants to defile your heart. Ni sababu anataka kunachizi moyo wako and those that he has already defiled na wale ambao tayari ashawanachizi he has no part in them hana sehemu na wao anawaachia tu anawaachilia tu unaona sasa wao wanatembea na furaha wanasema ah kumbe kumbe nilipokuwa mokovu nilikuwa na nimefungwa hivi kwa sababu siku hizi sina shida kumbe kule kufungwa sana ndio shida ilikuwa eh but they didn't know lakini hawakujua that What they are calling shida ya kwamba kile wanachoita shida for us we look at it as a blessing wetu tunaiona kama baraka haleluya haleluya the lord is very faithful bwana ni mwaminifu sana i have discovered one characteristics of jehovah nimekundua sifa moja ya jehovah every time you are about to receive a blessing kila wakati unapokaribia kupokea baraka and he knows very well a blessing brings what pride na anajua vizuri ya kwamba hiyo baraka inaleta kiburi he makes sure umepitia pahali pa tough kweli Anak- kwa mioto anahakikisha umepitia mahali kwa mioto maji ndio sasa unyenyekee kisawa sawa wakati ile baraka inakuja you are already so humbled wakati baraka inakuja tayari umenyenyekeshwa sana that you just bless the lord ya kwamba unambariki tu bwana 
Hakuna majivuno tena. Hakuna majivuno tena. When the Lord is about to bring a promotion in your life. Wakati Bwana anataka kuleta kupandishwa jeo katika maisha yako. He creates trouble with everyone around you. Analeta analeta changamoto na watu wote walio karibu. Everybody hates you. Kila mtu anakuchukia. Everybody talks evil of you. Kila mtu anaenda maovu juu yako. So you humble so much. Kwa hivyo unanyenyekea sana. You go before the Lord. Unaenda mbele za Bwana. Unalilia Bwana. Unamlilia Bwana. Asubuhi unamlilia. Asubuhi unamlilia. Jioni unalia. Jioni unasema Bwana unatubu kabisa unasema Bwana nisamee ni nini hii ambaye inafanya nipitie pahali hapa Bwana nisamee nitakase kila wakati unalia you are so humbled umenyenyekea sana so, ile promotion ikikuja tayari you are in the right ile kupandisha cheo ikikuja tayari uko mahali katika pasawa. rutuba ambayo inayofaa uko kwa rutuba inayozalisha are we together je tuko pamoja are we together church Are we talking from the same wavelength? Je, tunanena kwa mahali pasawa? I'm telling you in other words. Ninakuambia kwa maneno mengine. Next time you are going through storms. Wakati mwingine utakapopitia changamoto. It is time for you to start blessing the Lord. Ni wakati wako wa kwanza kubariki Bwana. Kwa sababu umeona ninastahili kupitia hii kwa sababu ile baraka inakuja. Uone the bad side you see the positive side. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Uone unaona mali pasuri. Unaanza kutubu na mwambie Bwana nisaidie isije ikawa mawazo yangu kununika kwangu kutakufanya usinde hiyo baraka. Bwana nakushukuru kwa sababu umenikumbuka. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this Philadelphia church. Kwa hivyo hili kanisa la Philadelphia. Was a church that was so persevering. Ilikuwa ni kanisa lenye kufumilia kwingi. See the Lord is even highlighting the fact that you are living together with a church that is persecuting you. Unaona Bwana anainua swala la kwamba wanaishi na pamoja na kanisa ambalo linawateza. It is very amazing. Ni akustajabisha sana. Kanisa can we talk? Je, can we talk church? Are we together? Je, tuko pamoja? That even in this repentance church. Ya kwamba hata kwa hii kanisa la In the book of Matthew chapter 13. Kwenye kitabu cha Mathayo sura 13. The talks about when the farmer slept. And Bwana, the enemy came. Bwana anania juu ya wakati mpanzi alilala na adui so, akaja. Yeye amepanda ngano, lakini alipolala adui akaja akapanda nini? Kwekwe. Haleluya. Haleluya. Na wanafunzi wa Yesu wakashangaa sana. Si huyu alipanda ngano, hizi zingine zimetoka zimetoka wapi? Yesu akamwambia, "He, hebu ngojeeni. Hizi mpaka siku ya pamoja. Wakati wa mavuno ukifika, ndio sasa wavunaji watafanya nini watakuja wa tenganishe ngano kutoka kwa magugu bwana yesu asifiwe sana bwana yesu so, asifiwe magugu ni mazuri sana magugu kwa sababu yanahakikisha ya kwamba haleluya haleluya huwezi kungoa magugu kabla ya wakati wake ukingoa magugu itangoa pamoja na ngano So there is a time for everything. Kwa hivyo kuna wakati wa kila kitu. There is time for harvesting. Kuna wakati wa mavuno. There is time for planting. Na kuna wakati wa kupanda. And there is time for weeding. Na kuna wakati wa kupalilia. So the Lord is talking about this church. Kwa hivyo Bwana Adelphia church. Bwana anaongea juu ya hili kanisa la Philadelphia. You have known those who claim to be Jews. Na anasema mumewajua wale ambao wanadai kuwa Wayahudi. In other words, anasema wewe umegundua kuna wale wanasema wameokoka na wako kwa toba. Lakini matendo yao hayambatani na matendo ya toba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we together? So, lazima uelewe pushoni yako ni nini. We wapende lakini jiepushe na matendo yao. Are we together? Na, hiyo kind that's kind of separation. Ya kwamba aina hiyo ya kuchitenga. Is what the Lord is checking. Ni kile ambacho Bwana anaangalia. You don't run away from them. Hauwezi kutoroka kwao. You don't run away from temptations. Hauwezi kutoroka majaribu. You face temptations and overcome Una them. Unakabiliana na majaribu na kushinda. Let's us clap for you for the time you overcame the temptation. Wacha tupigie makofi kwa wakati yourself. ambao ulishinda majaribu. Hallelujah church. Hallelujah kanisa. If those temptations never came your way you'd never pray. Ikiwa hayo majaribu yangekuja nje yako haungeomba. 
if those temptations never came your way you would think you are very smart hayo majaribu yasingekuja njia yako ungedhani wewe uko bora unajua there are some people who trust themselves so much unajua kuna watu wanajiamini sana ah mimi nimeokoka sana kitu kama hizo haziwezi kuniweza that is pride hiyo ni kiburi haleluya haleluya lazima tuelewe ya kwamba kila mmoja wetu we are weak lazima tuelewe or another kila mmoja wetu tu wa dhaifu kwa jambo we will only be victorious the day we will die in christ tutakuwa tu washindi siku ile tutakufa katika Kristo because if you die without Christ you are not an overcomer kwa sababu ukikufa bila Kristo wewe sio mshindi so our effort kwa hivyo juhudi and our zetu desire na tamani letu ni kunyenyekea and die in Christ na kufa katika Kristo being separated tukiwa from the things of this world kwa vitu vya ulimwengu huu being identified with Christ tukitambulishwa na Kristo bearing his image and likeness tukiwa na umbo wake na sura yake who even though he knew he was from heaven ambaye yeye hata ingawa alijua alitoka mbinguni he never counted that as anything akuhesabu hiyo kuwa chochote bonesa sifiwe sana bwana yesu asifiwe you can imagine unaweza fikiria hata kama you are a pastor hata kama umeenda mkutano wa bwana umeenda mkutano wa bwana mshirika tu akuja akwambie we songa mshirika tu some of us the first thing they will do do you know I'm a pastor Najua kwa kwanza wengi watasema unajua mimi ni mchungaji wewe ni nani? Bwana asifiwe. <laughs> Reminds me when we na Nakuru. Kanikumbusha tulipokuwa Nakuru. I was taking care of the Indian delegation. Nilikuwa nasimamia wageni kutoka India. So there is this um the coordinator is a Kenyan. Kulikuwa na mwenye anasimamia ambaye ni Mkenya. Na Okay, ana uzuri ya at least I knew the name through the radio. Nilikuwa nimejua jina lake kupitia kwa. So unajua sisi we were just taking care of the Pakistan delegation. Kwa hivyo tulikuwa tunasimamia tu wageni. So the table I was assigned. Kwa hivyo mesa nilikuwa nimepewa. So the, he comes with the wife. Anakuja na mke wake. I'm like excuse me. Kaambia ni weradhi. This is for Pakistan. Hii ni ya Pakistan. So this is for India. Hii ni ya India. And then Okay so it sounded a bit rude but I understood eh? Do you know who I am? <laughs> do you know who I am? I asked him do you also know who I am? Kamulisa pia nawe unajua mimi ni nani? Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Akanambia so I told him please tell me your name. Nikamwambia tafadhali niambie jina lako. So he told me, oh I've been really looking forward to seeing you. Now I understand. Nikitamani nikitamani sana nikuone. Sasa okay. naelewa. But sasa hii ilikuwa inasemwa in a nice way but kuna yenye inasemwa in a bad taste lakini kuna ile inasemwa kwa hali mbaya bwana yesu asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe so in other words he was trying to tell me by virtue of who i am to this delegation i need to stay with them i need to be with these people kwa maneno mengine alikuwa ananiambia kwamba kwa kile kiwango ambacho niko na nahitaji kukuwa na hao wageni and i understood as such na nilielewa hivyo as much hallelujah hallelujah but we are saying this philadelphia church lakini tunasema ili kanisa la philadelphia love the lord so much wanapenda bwana wakapitia persecution wakapitia changamoto na unajua kuna kitu inakuja ambayo I've told you nearly there is persecution coming. Nimewaambia kanisa the rapture. Kuna changamoto inakuja Sasa, kama ya, wewe ni wale wa masengenyo kidogo inakuumiza inakuweka chini. Please come out of it eh? Toka kwa hiyo. Because it is very mm, mm, I want to say it is very healthy. Nas, nataka niseme kwamba ni ya afya nzuri sana. It is very healthy. Ni afya nzuri sana. When men speak against you. Wakati wanadamu wananena kinyume chake. The Bible says in the book of Matthew kwa chapter Bibi 7 inasema kwenye kitabu cha Mathayo sura ya 7. It is, is it 12 there about 11:12. Hapo 11, 11, 11. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely. Umebarikiwa wakati wanadamu wanakutharau na kusengenya na wanaponena hey, maovu yote juu yako. Wanasema maneno ya uongo wanasema huyu sijui alifanya nini na ni uongo but wanasema uongo in the name of the Lord. Lakini wanasema uongo kwa jina la Bwana. Tuko pamoja. The Bible says Biblia inasema rejoice furai and be exceedingly glad na utapasamu saidi 
For great is your reward in heaven. Kwa sababu thawabu yako ni kuu mbinguni. Did somebody hear what I heard? Je, mtu amesikia? Zawadi yako ni kuu. Kwa sababu walikusema uongo. Wakakuwekelea uongo. Na ile inakuja hata ndio kuu zaidi. Anasema for so persecuted they the prophet that were before you kwa sababu anasema wao waliwateza manabii ambao walikuwa mbele yenu na tunajua manabii kila wakati wanakuanga they are holy people na tunajua manabii ni watu watakatifu otherwise god will not use them god la, yahweh la sivyo jehova yahweh ahange watu mwingine we know prophets they are the mouthpiece of jehova tunajua manabii ni vinywa vya jehova but sasa wanasema wao watu wali walisema hata manabii ambao walikuwa mbele yako Manabii ni watu ambao ni watakatifu. Watu ambao wanaongea kwa niaba ya Jehova. Kwa hivyo kama watu waliwasema, imagine vile wanasema manabii wawili wa Bwana mambo makuu kabisa wanawekelea I don't know wameoa, I don't know wamefanya nini, I don't know wameiba, I don't know nini wagonjwa, wameenda wapi. Hizo but lakini the two, the two hawa wawili do they ever stop focusing on the mission of the lord Jio, if anything they do it even harder hata hivyo wanafanya saidi are we together je tuko pamoja for you hey, they did this ah lakini kwa kwao walifanya hivi stoki 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 hata siendi madhabahu hata siendi madhabahu nataka umfuatiliwe unataka ufuatilie sasa watu wakuje wakupembeleze Chuka, you are wasting time wewe unapoteza muda and that's what the devil wants na hiyo ndio kile ambayo ibilisi anataka the devil wants you to waste your time at home ana adui anataka upoteze muda wako nyumbani and let me tell you na wacha nikwambie every time you retreat home kila wakati unapobaki nyumbani that is retrogressive time hiyo ni wakati wa kurudi nyuma Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nataka kila mtu apige makofi kidogo. Maana nataka I want people who are alive. Nataka watu walio hai. Kuna mtu amesikia vile amesema kila wakati unarudi nyumbani kukaa in the name of ha ah, watu wamenisema nangojea Bwana. Hakuna Bwana unangojea unangojea shetani. Kwa sababu Muradi umerudi in the name of what who are kusema. Sasa hiyo shetani anakuletea evil thoughts. Sasa hiyo shetani anakuletea mawaso maovu. Anakuonyesha vile hakuna mtu anakupenda kwa madhabahu, anakuonyesha vile nani amefanya what what what. So all that time you are going away from the presence of the Lord. Wakati huo wote unatoka katika uwepo wa Bwana. But the moment you realize this is happened go before the Lord and tell him Lord I just want to thank you remember this person please Lord prepare them for rapture Lakini wakati umegundua hii they are wonderful ka... people but the devil wants to misuse them so that they don't see heaven Wakati unaona hii ime, imetendeka unaenda mbele za Bwana unamwambia Bwana kumbuka hao watu maana hao watu ni watu wa dhamana lakini ibilisi anawatumia vibaya Na utakuwa umetimiliza hiyo andiko inasema bariki wanao kufanya nini kulaani si ndio maduizi yako uwafanye nini uwaombe utakuwa katika mpangilio mm, wa bwana utakuwa katika mpangilio wa bwana so ra, lazima tukue kama hiyo Philadelphia church lazima tukue kama ile kanisa la Bidadeni so ni wale ambao wanampenda bwana kwa hivyo bwana umenichagua kukua katika hiyo idadi ya wale ambao wanakutafuta na anasema very few anasema wachache when he's talking about the broad way anaponena juu ya njia pana and the pana, narrow way na njia nyembamba these are the words of the bible hii ni maneno ya bible talking bidunia. about the narrow way akikunena juu ya njia ya nyembamba few that be that will find it anasema ni wachache watakao ipata hiyo njia but for the wide road lakini, anasema many there are which go through it lakini anasema kwa njia pana ni wengi watakao ipitia Hallelujah church. Hallelujah kanisa. The Philadelphia church. Kanisa la Philadelphia. The Lord loves the Philadelphia church. Bwana analipenda kanisa la Philadelphia. The Lord says in the book of 9 Psalms 91. Bwana anasema kwenye kitabu cha Saburi 91. And even is repeating in this Revelation chapter 3 verse 10. Na pia anarudia kwenye kitabu cha Ufunuo sura ya 3 mstari wa 10. And he say because you 
have persevered. Anasema kwa sababu umefumilia. He says I will keep you during the hour of trial that is coming to the world. Akasema nitakuhifadhi kwa wakati wa mateso unaojia dunia. In the book of Psalms 91. Kwenye kitabu cha Saburi 91. Let's see what the Lord is saying. Wacha tuone kile ambacho Bwana anamwambia Those who have loved him to the Philadelphia church. Kwa kanisa la Philadelphia ambalo limempenda yeye. Are we together church? Je, tuko pamoja kanisa? Let me give you some sleep there because you slept the whole night. Usingizi kwa maana ulilala usiku kucha. Anasema from verse 14. Kwanza mstari wa 19. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him high on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Bwana asema, kwa kuwa ananipenda nitamwokoa, nitamlinda. Kwa kuwa analikiri jina langu, ataniita nami nitamjibu. Nitakuwa pamoja naye katika tabu, nitamwokoa na kumheshimu. Kwa siku nyingi nitamshibisha na kumuonyesha uokofu wangu. Haleluya. Haleluya. Umewahi ku ku kufikiria uh, ni kwa nini? Hapa kwa madhabahu unaweza kuwa ah watu wanakuonea wivu you are such a, such a powerful worshipper na sasa the people around you they may not like you because na watu ambao wamekusikia hawakupendi. Wa, worship very powerful. Sababu na wabudu kwa nguvu. And the Lord will allow that. Na Bwana ataruhusu. But when you go out there. Lakini ukienda kule nje. You see you are in trouble. Unaona uko katika shida. Maybe you tuseme you are blessed uko na gari umesahau something. Wenda umebarikiwa mko na gari na umesahau kitu. But the Lord will come and deliver you. Lakini Bwana atakuja na kukukomboa. Because he wants to to keep your name bwana azivie sana anataka kulihifadhi jina lako those big things that you cannot do it on your own hizo vitu kubwa ambazo unaweza kufanya peke yako bwana will come in and deliver you bwana ataingilia kati na kukukomboa bwana yesu asifiwe sana bwana yesu asifiwe this time nimetumia the wrong lane kuna wakati nimetumia hiyo sasa ile kuna lane ambayo haifai eh jam ni ku naangalia unaona umechelewa kazini unaona eh ukiona unakutana na mzee pale mbele Imagine sasa hiyo sasa hauna hata maneno ya kuongea umekutwa ukiwa red hardened bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe <laughs> so nilishikwa the other day ivo nilishikwa siku nyingine mama wewe nenda tu wewe ni mama yangu acha nikuruhusu tu uende sijui nakimbilia nini lakini nenda tu kaangalie ndugu zangu <laughs> haleluya haleluya i did not even have to tell him anything hata siku itachi kumwambia tu you really have you have done something wrong eh? unaelewa umefanya kitu ni na tupu sana wewe nenda tu mama yangu just go haleluya haleluya so the lord make sure that he delivers you from trouble kwa hivyo bwana anahakikisha amekukomboa kutoka kwa majaribu but si semi ufanye vitu makusudi ndio <laughs> unasema Ah, bishop alisema the lord will deliver us from trouble no that is god tempting the lord hiyo ni kujaribu kumcharibu bwana and nobody ever tempts the lord and gets away with it na kuna mtu anayemjaribu bwana na kuepukana naye so this is the charge Kwa the lord is carrying you are entering into persecution bwana analianda maana unaingia katika mateso unaingia katika mateso unaingia katika mateso na bwana anakuandaa hizi vitu kidogo kidogo the lord is preparing you for that big thing wakati kwa hiyo kitu kikubwa wakati there's a clip need share kwa group na ilikuwa inasema vile Finland one of the bishops ame quote a scripture in Romans first Romans okay au kusema of but of course it's Romans chapter 1 from verse 20 ile inasema vile yani they got consumed with their own emotions and the Lord gave them up to their last kitabu cha warumi sura ya kwanza mstari wa 20 ambaye anasema walichawa na tamazao na bwana akawaachilia so she was trying to review she was talking about the lgbt na alikuwa ananena juu ya mambo ya ushoga mambo ya ushoga nini nini yenye sasa finland wame wana support ambayo finland wanakubaliana na sasa wanasema she's going to be trialed na anasema anaenda because of quoting a scripture you can imagine kwa sababu ya kusoma biblia kusoma andiko kwa sababu ya ku quote she quote kwa sababu kwa sababu ya kunuku biblia haleluya haleluya so you can imagine that is the path the world is taking unaweza fikiria hiyo ndio njia ambayo dunia inafuata sasa 
praise the name of the Lord. And I don't know why of late I have been just seeing that we are just entering into persecution. And this dream keeps on coming. We are getting into persecution. Persecution. The first church where the disciples they were really tortured and they were killed brutally and the Bible says the glory of the latter church is going to be greater than the former if during the former they were killed that way unachemushwa kwa mafuta kina John unachemushwa kwa mafuta kama kina John are we together je tuko pamoja Peter being crucified upside down Petero ana anasulubishwa kichwa chini miguu so how much more is it going to be this time sasa itakuwa kiasi gani wakati huu we must encourage ourselves in the Lord. Lazima tumizane katika Bwana. We must bwana. embrace persecution. Lazima tukumbatie mateso. And we love the Lord more than we love our wives. Na tupende Bwana kuliko vile tunavyochipenda. But this is more interesting when you come to the Laodicea's church. Lakini ina, inapendeza sana tunapofika kwenye kanisa la Laodicea. This is the church that is definitely going to hell. Hili ni kanisa ambalo moja kwa moja linaelekea jana. The janamu. church that is neither hot nor ni, cold. Ni kanisa lililo fugu fugu moto wala baridi Can we talk about the Laodicea church? Je, tunaweza ongea juu ya kanisa la Laodicea? The Laodicea church is never excited about the things of God. Kanisa la Laodicea halifurahi mambo ya Mungu. When there is baptism there is no interest. Wakati kuna upatizo hawana haja nayo. When there is um, outreach wakati kuna uinjilisti they never even remember hata hawakumbuki wanasikia tu ikianunzwa kwa madhabahu wanasikia tu ikiatangazwa kwenye madhabahu they are neither hot wao si moto wala baridi the bible says in the book of second timothy chapter 3 verse 5 bible inasema kwenye timotheo ya pili sura ya 3 they have a form of godliness wako na mfano wa utaua but they deny the power thereof lakini wanakana nguvu zake and the lord is saying i'm going to spew you out with the fire bwana anasema nitakutema nje kwa moto haleluya haleluya wanaendea na na weather wanaenda na hali ya anga hali ya anga kama kuna sherehe ofisini wao wajala hata wakumbuki kama they are born again hata wakumbuki kwa wameokoka they will just go wataenda with the prescribed dressing code na vile mtindo wa mavazi ambayo umesema they want to be every like every Tom Dick and Harry wanataka kufanana na because they are seeking for acceptance kwa sababu wanatafuta they want to be approved by people wanataka wanataka kubalika na binadamu hata ukienda saa hiyo uambie oh bwana asifiwe sana watakuangalia useme what are you saying ukienda uambie bwana yesu asifiwe watakuangalia sema unasema ni je uko na uhakika unaongea na mimi you know there are some people who just assume you unajua kuna watu ambao hawata kutilia manani depending on where you are kulingana na mahali ulipo because sasa you're talking to me angalia angalia masila inaitwa nini masingara you know be careful angalia. and they pretend they don't know you and they won't talk to you na watachifanya wakujui na hata kukuongelesha bwana yesu asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe the church kanisa that waki kuna wakifika pahali they will just drink wakifika mali yeah. wanakunywa tu pombe wanasema tu a little wine is good for them wanasema pombe kidogo ni sawa kwa tumbo ah what's wrong with this kwani shida iko wapi hii ndio inaleta digest sikia mtu ameanza kuongea hivyo just separate ukisikia mtu ameanza kuongea hivyo jitenge tu the laodicea church kanisa la laodicea it has no feelings halina hisia you cannot separate the laodicea church from the world hawezi kutenganisha kanisa la laodicea pamoja na they just talk mwenye. like the world wanaongea tu kama ulimwengu they eat ulimwengu. like the world wanakula kama ulimwengu they dress ulimwengu. like the world wanavaa kama ulimwengu they talk like the world wanaongea kama ulimwengu 
they only say they are born again Wana, with their mouth wanasema tu wameokoka kwa midomo yao but their actions are very far from the definition of salvation lakini matendo yao ni mbali sana na ile maelezo ya wokofu the laudisha church Kanisa. actually persecutes the philadelphia church kanisa la laudekia linateza kanisa la philadelphia because kwa sababu the philadelphia church is rebuking her kanisa la philadelphia linamkemea in every respect katika kila hali bwana yesu asifiwe sana bwana yesu asifiwe the lord bwana is warning us Anatuonya. that it is better we remain either cool ya kwamba heri tupake tukio baridi you are just at least you are good for the devil kumaanisha hata utakuwa mzuri utakuwa unatumika kwa shetani or you are hot remaining you are good for the lord kumaanisha wewe ni wewe ni utatumika vizuri kwa mwana you mwana. cannot be in the middle bwana akasema hauwezi kukaa katikati You're not good for the Lord, you're not good for the devil. Wewe si mzuri kwa Bwana, wewe si mzuri kwa shetani. Some people when they go to hell, watu wengine watakapoenda jehanamu, they will suffer a double tragedy. Watateseka saidi mara mbili. Because even though you are there with the devil, kwa sababu hata ingawa mko pale pamoja na ibilisi, the devil will be punishing you because you made his demons to lose their hand or whatever through your Uh, Ibilisi atakuwa anakutesa hata ingawa mtakuwa na eje na kwa sababu ulifanya mapepo yako labda prayers. labda iko wakose mikono juu ya maombi yako How many know that the word of God is a, a sword Ni wangapi wanajua neno la Bwana ni upanga Hallelujah Hallelujah What is the work of the sword to Kati cut Kazi ya upanga ni kufanya nini ni kukata Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Can I talk to this church? Je, naweza kuongea na hiki kanisa? Can I talk to this Philadelphia church? Je, naweza kusala Philadelphia? Every time you use the word of God, kila wakati unapotumia neno la Bwana, ukemea shetani. It is cutting the demons. Linakata mapepo. Are we together? Je, tuko pamoja? So there are so many demons without hands because your prayers. Kuna mapepo mengi hawana mikono kwa Bwana. Use the word. Wakati unatumia neno. Iliangusha mikono yao. Iliangusha mikono So if you are not serious with the Lord and you find yourself in hell. Kwa hivyo ikiwa haukumaanisha kwa Bwana alafu chipate jehanamu. That demon will be waiting for you for revenge. Hiyo pepo itakuwa inakungoja ikulipisie kisasi. And I'm not joking. Nasifanyi misaha. This is the truth of the matter. Huu ni ukweli wa mambo. So if we are getting born again we be born again truly and faithfully. Kwa hivyo ikiwa unaokoka uokoke kwa kweli na kwa uaminifu. Haleluya church. Haleluya kanisa. That you love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your mind with all your strength. Ya kwamba upende Bwana Mungu wako kwa moyo wako wote kwa fahamu zako zote na kwa nguvu zako zote. That you realize actually the Messiah is coming. Ya kwamba unagundua kuwa Mesia kwa hakika yuaja. Did it shock you? Je, ilikushangaza? Ama wacha tuseme hivi, wakati nabii wa Bwana alikuwa anapea na hiyo hizo dates za Gomez. Na alikuwa anasema vile Mungu amemuonyesha mambo makuu sana yenye atatenda. Na akasema ya kwamba kwenu Kenya sioni mkutano mwingine tena. Kwa sababu akona kalenda yenye anafikia mataifa yote. Neno linasema ya kwamba wakati ili neno litahubiriwa kwa nchi zote alafu nini itafanyika Simseme kwa nguvu kama mnajua vile unasema eh? The end shall come na mwisho utafika So kumaanisha <laughs> Bwana amemalizana na sisi Kenya sasa anaenda round round usitarajia aende round arudi Kenya tena Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. That the Lord is coming. Ya kwamba Bwana anakuja. Na with the Lord, na Bwana, he doesn't even have to go physically to all those other nations. Hata hahitaji kwenda kializia kwa hizo matendo mengine. When he goes to India, kwa sababu anapoenda India, and all the repress every nation is represented in india na kila taifa ambayo limewakilishwa pale india it means that what imeenda to all the countries ina maanisha hilo neno limeenda kwa mataifa yote so in other words that's what i that is how i got it when the man of god was saying kenya this is your last meeting kwa 
maneno mengine hivyo ndivyo niliposhika wakati manabii wa Bwana wakisema Kenya ndio mkutano wenu wa mwisho. Where we are going now? Kwa sababu mahali tunapoelekea. Those sasa, other nations. Hayo mataifa mengine. They are realizing look the Messiah is coming. Sasa Messiah yote. Wherever these two go. I rather be there. Heri ni kwa mahali pale. And then we have the technology. Alafu tuko na teknolojia. People can tune in. Watu wanaweza kusikiliza. And you know these other nations they are not like us. Na unajua hizi mataifa mengine si kama hizi. They have got ways whoever wants to tune in they have got mtoto yote anataka kusikia wako na network. They can get the message very clear. Wanaweza pata ujumbe vizuri sana. So we really need to know. Kwa hivyo kwa hakika tunataka kujua the timing. Majira. The timing. Majira. In the book of Psalms chapter 90 verse 12 when you the Bible says Lord teach us to number our days so that we can apply them in wisdom Ukijua ya kwamba tungelijua ya kwamba Mesia anakuja next month would we even go to work Tungeenda hata kazini You'd be so you'd be so foolish wasting your time going to the office. Ungekuwa mjinga sana kupoteza muda wako. This will not be worth it. Kwa sababu you rather I use that time. time to do what? Heri ungetumia muda ukitubu. Na ukimake up with every enemy that has ever come into your life. Na ukisuluhisha yale mabishana ambayo umekuwa na adu, na adui yote ambaye amekuwa akikuja katika maisha yako. Kwa hivyo hekima ni kuuliza Bwana, nisaidie kupata kujua wakati wangu unafika lini ili hizo siku ambazo zimesalia nizitumie kwa hekima kukuwa karibu sana na wewe kuliitia jina lako i was so and iniguza ili, sana niliposikia ushuhuda wa the late bishop margaret mburu because kwa sababu margaret yeye katika ndani yake alipata kujua wakati wangu umeisha so hata watu wakienda kumuona nawaambia sikizeni siku yangu imeisha kwangu sasa usiku umekuja ninyi sasa fanyeni bwana kazi na mioyo yenu yote akawaambia sikizeni jana usiku kuna basi likuja na mimi nilikuwa naingojea nilikuwa nafikiria nime ni wakati wangu umefika lakini anasema wakati ile basi ilikuja ikasimama wakanambia sorry tumejaa ngojea hiyo ingine inakuja The next time anawaambia, "He, hiyo ingine ilikuja, lakini wakanaambia imejaa na watoto. Ningoje the next one." Kweli hakuna hakukuwa na time for the next one because now alikuwa ame enda. No teachers to number our days Bwana so that we can apply them in wisdom. Ili tupate kuzitumia kwa hekima. Alijua wakati wake umekwisha. Na kaomba msamao kwa kila mmoja akasema mimi watu you know you don't know about the late Margaret Mburu because this mama she's she madhabahu nyingi sana kule huko in the most arid areas alianzisha madhabahu mingi sana pale sehemu kama she had already started you know ma, kulikuwa na madhabahu huko everywhere kila mahali bwana yesu asifiwe sana bwana yesu asifiwe so wakati amegoncheka unajua that zingine we become so busy that we have no time for her one another wakati wakati mwingine tunachukua siku na shilingi to develop bitterness haleluya nilikuwa ni rais sana kupata uchungu but he loved her so much lakini bwana alipenda sana akasema me i love you people you are my brothers na akasema when i die don't buy me any other gown i want you to bury me in my bishop bishopric nenio gown you know the ones that we, we wear for unajua ile ambayo tunafaa So it was so clear. Ilikuwa wazi. Make sure it is ready. When I die, dress me in that I'm a bishop. Takapofika munifalishe mimi na anything else. Musirunue kitu kingine chochote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Philadelphia church the Lord loves that church and if any of the members of that church it is time for them to be with the Lord the Lord make sure bwana anahakikisha they, they, they just don't disappear like that the Lord 
allows them Bwana to make it up with everyone. Ku, ku there na watu is no wote. confusion. They have kiyo. already set everything in order. Kila kitu kwa wake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. There is no confusion. Hakuna kuchanganyikiwa. But he says, lakini anasema, as for the Laodicean church, kwa kanisa la Laodikia, it is an affront to me. Ni ku, ni, ku, ni, ni matusi kwangu kwa, kwa sababu kwangu. gani? Kwa sababu hawana time yangu. Hata wananiharibia jina langu. Wakisema wao ni Wayahudi na wao sio Wayahudi. They are saying they are born again. Wanasema wameokoka. But they are very far away from being born again. Lakini wako mbali sana na wokofu. There's some people in the ministry you see and kuna watu katika person, huduma unaona unasema First and foremost kitu cha kwanza. Let this person get born again. Huyu mtu aokoke. You can imagine the people out there. Unaisafikiria watu kule nje. They are saying if this is the salvation Wanasema, of repentance. Ikiwa hii ni wokofu wa toba niko sawa tu nikiwa catholic wacha niko sawa tu nikiwa catholic wacha niende jahanam nikiwa catholic wacha niende jahanam kuliko niingie jahanam nikiwa hiyo kanisa inaitwa repentance kuliko niingie no you don't do that na hiyo kanisa inaitwa toba you must fear the lord lazima umogope you know mungu. everything you do unajua kila kitu unachofanya has some meaning to the kingdom of god iko na maana katika ufalme wa mungu and the bible says in the book of hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 na biblia inasema kwa don't you know that we are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses amujuu tumesingirwa na wingu la ushahidi wanajaribu kutuhimiza usifanye hivi hata sisi tulipitia hivyo we pass through was fires ya kwamba tulipitia mioyo mbaya usikate tamaa please press on tafadhali endelea Hallelujah church. Hallelujah kanisa. If you have chosen to be a worshiper ikiwa umechagua kuwa mwanadamu set apart chitenge Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Because Exodus chapter 28 verse 1 to 4. Moses is talking to Aaron. Moses anamwambia Aaron ni get your sons to get a garment. Mwambie wana wako watafute vazi. No 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 no. no. Tell your brother Aaron. Mwambie ndugu yako Aaron. To, to tell his sons. Awambie wana wake. Get a garment. Watafute vazi. That will give them dignity and honor. Ambayo itawapatia heshima na kustahili. Because when you are a worshiper. Kwa sababu wakati wewe ni mwanadamu. You have been set apart. Umetengwa. And you must behave like one who is set apart na for the Lord. Ukae kama mmoja ambaye ametengwa kwa ajili ya Bwana. bringing the congregation before we, the presence of Jehovah. Wewe ni wewe unaleta kusanyiko mbele ya uwepo wa Jehovah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Have you disappointed people out there? Je, umefunja watu wa testimony na ushuhuda wako? They look at you and they are like, "What?" Wanakuangalia wanasema, "Huyu ana Sabri anakuja pale anakuona anasema you, you mean this devil is in this madhabau anakuja anasema they make an about time they, they go away wanasema anatoka wacha nikikaa hapo sitabariki so why you waste the entire service wewe anasema nikikaa hapo sitabariki will not get kwa nini nipoteze ibada msima standing at the door Jenny you're not entering mama katika lango hauingii You are not entering. How And you are stopping others from entering. Na unasuia wengine kuingia. We must be what we profess to be. Lazima tuwe kile ambacho tunadai tu. Our tupo. yes must be yes. Ndio yetu lazima And our no must be no. Na hapana yetu iwe hapana. So in the book of Matthew chapter 25 it Kwenye talks about the 10 virgins. virgins. Inanena juu ya wanawake. Five wa wise. Watano wenye kima. Five foolish. Watano wapumbafu. Let's start asking the Lord to give us the wisdom. Wacha tuanze kumuuliza Bwana atupatie hekima. So that we can be the wise bride. Ili tuwe biharusi mwenye hekima. That Jesus is looking for one. Ambaye Yesu anatazamia. Look at what is this in the book of Revelation chapter 19. Tazama kile ambacho anasema kwenye kitabu cha Ufunuo wa Yohana sura ya 19. Imagine with a lot of fondness heaven is saying let us rejoice and be glad. Kwa utasiri mwingi bingu inasema wacha tufurahie tutabasamu. Tukimpatia utu kufu wote. For the marriage of the lamp has come and the bride has made herself ready. Kwa kuwa biharusi ya mwana kondoo imekuwa tayari na biharusi ameji amechiweka tayari. So he said and I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude as the sound of many waters and the sound of mighty thundering singing. 
Hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty, omnipotent reigns. Let us be glad and rejoice and give him glory. For the marriage of the Lamb has come and the wife has made herself ready. Kisha nikasikia sauti kama ya umati mkubwa kama sauti ya maji mengi yaendayo kasi na kama ngurumo kubwa ya radi wakipiga kelele wakisema haleluya kwa maana bwana Mungu wetu mwenyezi anatawala tufurahi tushangilie na kumpa utukufu kwa maana arusi ya mwana kondoo imewadia na bibi arusi wake amejiweka tayari haleluya imagine the heaven can see when the bride is ready fikiria mbingu inaweza kuona wakati bi arusi yuko tayari rejoicing. na wanafurahi they are saying look the bride sama. is ready bi arusi yuko tayari let us rejoice and watch to furai na tutafurahi ya kwamba hatimaye we can see the fruits of Tut- the cross tunaweza ona tunda la msalaba bwana yesu asifiwe sana bwana imagine there was a time Heaven was so quiet. Mbingu ilikuwa ile tulio. Because Jesus had left his seat. Kwa sababu Yesu ametoka kwenye kiti chake. And he had come on earth. Na alikuwa amekuja duniani. To seek for your salvation. Actually to wokofu wako. Actually to capture your salvation. Kukuja kunyakua wokofu wako. Satan had taken the keys. Kwa sababu ibilisi alikuwa amechukua funguo. And Jesus had to snatch the keys from him. Na ilimpidi Yesu amnyang'anye funguo. So when Satan now was planning for Jesus to be crucified. Wakati ibilisi alikuwa anapanga Yesu asulubishwe. And for your information Satan did not kill Jesus. Na kwa habari zako Jesus himself willingly Yesu. He gave up his soul to the Lord. Yesu mwenyewe alipenda nafsi Hallelujah. yake kwa Bwana. Then he went there in hell. Kisha kaenda pale kwa jehanamu. And he went and he bruised Satan on her head. Na kaenda akaponda shetani kwa kichwa. For the book of Romans chapter 16 verse 20. Kwenye kitabu cha warumi 16 mstari wa 20 and the god of peace Biblia inasema na Mungu wa amani Satan's head that happened kichwa cha shetani You litendeka baada ya Yesu ameenda pale ame toka msalabani akaenda pale akaenda akakanyaga shetani na akachukua kifunguo Now The Bible Sasa. says all power has been given unto the Lord in heaven and on earth. Nguvu zote zimebeana kwa Bwana mbinguni na duniani. And he has the key. Na ako na funguo. That scripture says in, in the book of Revelation he who has the key of David. Kwenye that kitabu cha Whatever he opens nobody can close. And whatever he closes nobody can open kwenye kitabu cha ufunuo anasema yeye aliye na kifunguo na chochote atakachofungua hakuna atakayefunga na chochote ambacho amefunga hakuna atakayefungua Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe Today we are celebrating Leo tunasherekea What the Lord did in Menengai Kile ambacho Bwana alitenda Menengai And the Lord is speaking a big message Na Bwana ananena uchumbe kubwa Thou Philadelphia church Ya kwamba e kanisa la Philadelphia I'm doing all these things Nimefanya vitu hivi vyote To entice you kukushawishi So that you can prepare ili upate kujiandaa for my coming kwa ajili ya kukuja kwangu so i am surely coming kwa kuwa kwa hakika ninakuja bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe sana so he says kwa hivyo anasema i go back to revelation chapter 3 as i close narudi kwenye ufunuo wa yohana sura ya 3 ninapomaliza as many as i love i rebuke and chasten Therefore be zealous and repent. Behold I stand at the door and knock. That is in verse 19. And 20 is this bill. Behold I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him and he with me. To him who overcomes I will grant to sit with me on my throne as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne wale ni wapendao ninawakemea na kuadhibisha hivyo uwe na bidii ukatubu tasama nasimama mlangoni napisha kama mtu yeyote akisikia sauti yangu na kufungua mlango nitaingia ndani na kula pamoja naye naye pamoja nami yeye ashindaye nitampa haki ya kuketi pamoja nami kwenye kiti changu cha enzi 
kama vile mimi nilivyoshinda na nikaketi pamoja na baba yangu kwenye kiti chake cha enzi Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Imagine the Laodicea church. Fikiria kanisa la Laodikia. It is very sad. Inahuzunisha sana. Because kwa sababu some people have been taught to believe a lie. Baadhi ya watu wamefundishwa kuamini uongo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we are witnessing for menengai. Jinsi ambavyo tuna tulipokuwa tunashuhudia kwa ajili ya menengai. So and this mama was testifying alikuwa ananiambia ah imagine. Ha kuna pasa mmoja alikuwa anaambia wa mama ni sawa wavae skirt zenye ziko juu ya magoti. Hai. Nikamuliza na unaona kama ni sawa? Akaniambia hapana hiyo sio sawa. Kabisa did you ulimwambia? Nilimwambia ai lakini sasa wewe unatuambia nini? Mimi nimetia juhudi kuanza kuvaa nguo refu. Na sasa unaanza kusema nini? Nikamuliza sasa na utaendelea sasa kwa pahali kama hapo na uongo kama huo. Wewe nini Mungu mwenyewe anakuonyesha sio vizuri? Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu so, Is that even something to kuambia washirika? Je, hiyo ni kitu hata ya kuambia washirika? Haiko kwa Biblia anywhere? Haiko mali popote. But sasa hata au washirika, the next thing they start wearing what means? Kwa sababu nini? Kwa sababu so and so said it is okay. Kwa sababu mchungaji fulani alisema ni sawa. You see that? Je, unaona hiyo? So the Laodicea church. Hiyo kanisa la Laodikia. It is the church of the world. Ni kanisa ya ulimwengu. Ninafikiria kama dunia. Nafikiria wanakula kama dunia. dunia, wanaongea kama dunia, wanavaa kama dunia, lakini sasa Philadelphia church. Lakini kanisa la Philadelphia. Tutamania kuwa mmoja katika hiyo hilo kanisa la Philadelphia. Maana ke pale ndipo limependesa Bwana. Limejitenga linasimama na ushuhuda ya kwamba Yesu Kristo alikuja akafa kwa ajili yao na kwa sababu hiyo wako wanatia bidii wasimkasirishe wasimzunishe wasikwase roho wa Bwana na siku ya leo ninapomalizia kila wakati Bwana anatuwekea maisha na mauti utachagua gani But the Lord is saying. Lakini Bwana anasema, choose life and live. Chagua usima na uishi. Choose holiness. Chagua righteousness and you will live. Na utaishi. I will satisfy you with long life. Nitakutosheleza na maisha marefu. Saburi 91. I will set you up upon a rock. Nitakuweka juu ya mwamba. That is higher than you. Nililo juu yako. And that rock is Christ. Na huo mwamba ni Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. So today as we celebrate. Kwa siku ya leo tunaposherekea. Are you celebrating as a Philadelphia church? Je, unasherekea kama kanisa la Philadelphia church? Ama kama kanisa la Laodikia? Where by now? Mali ambapo sasa people are celebrating. Watu wanasherekea. Like, ah, hii kitu itaisha saa ngapi? Ukiwa unasema ah, hii kitu itaisha saa ngapi? Unafanya tu hivi. Uko kama mlingoti. <laughs> Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kuna udisha church they Kanisa see la they are okay. Wanaisi wako sawa. Wanajisikia wamefika. Wanajisikia wamefika. Na ukiuliza eh hey, mimi naenda mbinguni. Unajua Yesu eh yeah, Yesu anarudi najua. Na una eh hey, naenda mbinguni. You just look at the person and you are like what? Unaangalia tu mtu na unashangaa. Are you serious? Je unamaanisha? Kwa sababu the way the person is dressed kwa sababu njia vile huyu ni foremost kwanza kabisa you think she's coming from a bar utafikiria anatoka kwenye bar bwana Yesu asifiwe sana bwana Yesu asifiwe but still lakini this another loud that has come into repentance kuna laudeke nyingine imeingia katika toba they have a dressing wako na mvazi worefu kabisa ni refu kabisa lakini imechora mwili lakini imechora mwili haleluya haleluya no i like the way the mighty prophets used to rebuke us nobody is napenda vile manabii wa bwana walikuwa wakitukia nobody is interested with your anatomy nakwamba hakuna mtu akonaacha na umbo la mwili wako structure ya mwili wako vile uliumbwa 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us be born again. Wacha tuokoke. You will know the person who is born again from the appearance. Utajua mtu mwenye ameokoka kutoka na vile anavyoonekana, jinsi ambavyo anaonekana. Because the out the inside. Kwa sababu ndani dictates the outside. Inaonyesha kile ambacho kipo. Out of the abundance of the heart the mouth will does what? Kutoka kwa utele wa moyo kinywa unena. Unena. Let's rise up on our feet. Wacha tuinuke kwa miguu yetu. Hallelujah. So tunataka kuzama katika hii tu kisito cha utakazo. Natua Bwana na neno la sisi. Natugependa kukua kama kanisa la Philadelphia. Kwa hivyo nitaomba twende kumpokea Yesu Kristo kama Bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yetu tusema nyuma yangu sema bwana yesu tuseme kama tunaamini bwana yesu naja mbele zako siku ya leo nimetambua ya kwamba mimi ni mwenye dhambi nimekuwa nikifikiria ya kwamba nina kila kitu ambacho ninahitaji kuniingisha mbinguni lakini siku ya leo nimegundua ya kwamba nimepungukiwa ninakuomba Yesu Kristo unitembele siku ya leo unijase na roho wako mtakatifu ili aniondole kiu siku ya leo na kupatia maisha yangu Yesu Kristo. Uniongoze na unitawale. Nitakutumikia wewe peke yake. Siku zote za maisha yangu. Andika jina langu katika kitabu cha uzima wa milele. Na uniandae kwa unyakuzi. Siku ya leo ninaamini ya kwamba nimeokoka asante kwa kuniokoa nimeomba nikiamini katika jina la Yesu Kristo amen